New at noon, you can add another name to the growing list of groups looking to block congestion pricing in the city. Some small business owners are now demanding the plan be put on hold, citing the environmental and impact on their businesses. Meanwhile, the MTA remains committed to seeing it become a reality in order to bring in needed funds. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo, live at City Hall with Paul. Anthony. David, congestion pricing will choke New York City, specifically business in Manhattan. Those are the words of everyday New Yorkers who spoke on the steps of City Hall just moments ago, still critical of the MTA's environmental assessment in all of this. And small business owners and elected officials announcing, as you mentioned, an expanded class action lawsuit on the steps of City Hall. The amended lawsuit includes nearly 50 plaintiffs demanding a thorough environmental and economic impact study. Congestion pricing, as you know, would charge a $15 daytime fee for non-commercial passenger vehicles that use EasyPass and $22.50 for non-EasyPass drivers who enter Manhattan south of 60th Street. The plaintiffs say the fee will slash business for restaurants by discouraging patrons and forcing even small business owners to cut back on staff and hours. MTA officials say more than half of the remaining funding for the MTA's $51 billion capital plan through 2024 depends largely on the revenue generated by congestion pricing and some major projects are now at risk because of these lawsuits one billion dollars of the anticipated 15 billion generated would be used for new train cars for the subway the liRR and Metro North the funding also for 250 new electric buses and 11 depots and vital sign modernization on Fulton line and the six and line to impact 1.6 million daily riders but some elected officials including the city council minority leader joe borelli had some choice words for the mta and its plan in respect to Staten island we're a borough of the city of new york but new york city transit says go scratch i believe and i know my constituents believe that the mta has screwed us for generations they built a big, beautiful bridge, the Verrazano Bridge, in 1964, have been extracting money from us all these years. Never once have they improved transit. For the rest of this capital program, it's all about congestion pricing. With several lawsuits pending, congestion pricing is at risk of delay, despite its benefits to the vast majority of commuters who use transit coming into the city. To be clear, the MTA is confident on the legal issues, the environmental review and community outreach we undertook, and the analysis reflected in the 3,000 plus page study were extremely thorough. And you just heard the MTA side of things. That was uh, pulled from a hearing yesterday. The people who rallied here today, they're calling on everyday New Yorkers to testify during this upcoming public hearing period to let the MTA know exactly how they feel. Meanwhile, the MTA is still aiming to implement this congestion pricing plan this coming June, hoping these lawsuits do not sidetrack them. We're live at City Hall. Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Anthony, thank you. Closing